So what did you miss at Jubilee today? I don't know if you can you can hear, but <clears throat> there's lots of stuff going on. There's I can hear the printer printing things down the hallway, and I can hear altos rehearsing right beside me. They're rehearsing, getting ready for Christmas concerts and Christmas services, and and we're printing bulletins for upcoming events. And well, I, that's what we did today at Jubilee. That's what what you missed. You, you missed us preparing for Christmas, and we're preparing for Christmas this year by by deconstructing the Christmas pageant and doing a little bit of it every week. So this week, we talked about Mary. I know it's not the Advent cycle that we're used to, but today we talked about Mary, and we wondered what Mary's doing in the story. We wondered if we could do without Mary in the story, what that would be like. And so we had presented for us Luke's Gospel, and we had it presented by glorious little angels and, 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 and wonderful actors as Mary and Joseph and, and, and Gabriel. And, and then people responded as we wondered together, what is it that we think about with Mary? What is it in that story that, that captures us, that inspires us? We shared that today. And then I, I wondered a little bit about Mary myself. And I wondered about the words that she says or sings. I even sang some of them myself. I wondered about what it's like to be startled into justice. Because that's what I think happens to Mary. She, she has a life, it's planned, it's set, it's, it's good. And then she's startled. She's startled and told that, that God is not only present all around her, but is actually growing within her. And she rushes off to Elizabeth as if to find out that all of this is true. And when she knows for sure that this is all for real, she sings not of her baby, not of the changes in her body. She sings of the way the world will change. She sings of God's agenda to bring down tyrants, to lift the lowly, to, to feed the hungry, to bring justice. Mary is startled into justice. And then together we wondered about how we too might be startled into justice. How we might prepare for Christmas in a way that's more than chestnuts roasting on an open fire, more than shopping and giving gifts, more than being kind to family and even strangers, but a way of actually making this time holy, God-filled. How might we be startled into justice? Not that there's anything wrong with the nostalgia and the wonderful traditions around our Christmas. We want that too. And yet, how can we make it more God-filled than family-filled? More God-filled than norm-filled for me. How might we be startled into justice? We thought about Mary. We thought about what happened to her. And we prayed that it might happen to us. And that prayer, that hope brought us to the table. And so we shared the Lord's table. And we allowed it to fill us and startle us. Startle us into awareness, startle us into justice, start us, startle us into love. And then we quietly committed ourselves to sharing with a world that also is ready to be startled, is ready to be invited, is ready to be loved. And out we went, ready, I hope, ready to meet the world, ready almost for Christmas ready to make Advent and our lives holy. That's what you missed at Jubilee today. But you can think on those things yourselves. You can get ready. But hopefully we'll get to see you soon and we'll get to share together. Until then, God bless. We miss you.